If you haven't heard about Anchor by Spotify, it's the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. Let me explain. Anchor has tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your own phone or computer. When hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. And best of all, it's totally free. I try Anchor myself, and it's pretty good. Try it out. All right. <clears throat> Before we begin, right, I want to, you know, basically explain what an NFT is, okay? An NFT stands for non-fungible token. It's built using the same kind of programming as cryptocurrency like Bitcoin and Ethereum. However, that's where the similarity ends. Physical money and cryptocurrencies are fungible, meaning they can be traded or exchanged for another. Example of NFTs <clears throat> is they can be digitally represent any asset, including online only assets like digital artwork and real in uh, real estate assets. Okay, real assets such as real estate. Other examples of um, assets that NFTs can represent, including in-game items like avatars, digital and non-digital collectibles, domain names, and event tickets. Okay, that's basically what it's uh, what is an NFT. Okay, so um, moving right along, let's get into this topic. Racist Meta Slave NFT project rebrands after being called racist. Now, this was uh, in uh, February fourth, uh, twenty twenty two last month found out about it so i want to talk about it over the past year as the nft space has begun to explode we've begun to see a growing number of racist collections most notably nft depicting george floyd called floydies this week we saw another project that surely won't be the last racist nft project astounding astoundingly called the meta slave nft collection which features images of black people after predictable and justified backlash, the project was shut down. Well, it has not shut down. It has merely rebranded its also feature white, Asian, etc. NFTs. <clears throat> I don't know what to tell you, but this is just sick. The collection since removed and open C contained 1,865 NFTs, a reference to the year the Constitution was amended to abolish slavery. Every NFT was of a black face price around 0.01 ethereum and simply named meta slave and an assigned number the faces had hallmarks of being algorithmically generated such as serially malformed accessories and teeth all of this felt like a digital slave auction reinforced by a tweet from the project captured via the wayback machine claiming that in creating our project, we wanted to show that everyone is a slave to something, a slave to desire, to desires, to work, to money. That tweet added that there will be other collections in the future of Asian and white, etc. The project advertised on Twitter and Instagram. Both accounts have been deactivated since the rebrand. The project was criticized for being brazenly racist. The people running it have since oscillated between offering half-baked excuses and posting through the backlash to push its collection out into the world before deleting its original account, rebranding to metahumans and including faces from other ethnic backgrounds. They just did that to say, see, we're not racist. We put in white people here too. According to OpenSea, the collection was created by someone going by Unipic, who at one point, according to their bio, used the now defunct Twitter handle at Unique Fracture. 
Initially, the project claimed to be in support of Black Lives Matter and honor George Floyd. Hi there. We are glad to inform you that we have launched the first sales of the NFT Metaslave. Reads the first tweet from the project on January 25th, captured on the Wayback Machine. The project was inspired by Black Lives Matter and also in honor of George Floyd. The same day, it offered a different rationale. With this project, we want to show everyone that we will never forget the victims and suffering of our ancestors, and we must remember history so that it does not happen again. Reads another tweet captured by the Wayback Machine. This is why, of course, it has been it began to list the NFT's caption with titles such as hard work with a smiling face and an emoji of a plant. Smile through the pain, plunge with a wave emoji attached, blood money, and uncharted fate. Then the account pivoted on January 31st and offered everyone is a slave to something rationale. Within a few hours, it backtracked again and tweeted, we apologize to those who have been offended by our project but we are here only with good intentions. Peace to all. Shortly after the Twitter account announced that they would be rebranding the collection to MetaHuman on Twitter and OpenSea. Thankfully, the project is not very successful. It sold four NFTs to two addresses thus far, and that's amassing a 0.4 Ethereum in volume or 117 at today's price. It has Discord with five members currently some of whom have taken to spamming an image of a pig with poop on its balls. What? what? This, again, is not the first racist NFT project. In December, we saw Floyd's NFT project attempted to sell collections featuring illustrations of George Floyd and what was obvious, both a shameless cash grab and a transparent attempt to troll. The project was removed from OpenSea, although a page still exists directing buyers elsewhere. Let me see. Oh, it's not found on OpenSea. All right. <clears throat> and the Floydies are now available on its website where it claims that this is a revolutionary NFT project that aims to immortalize George Floyd on the Ethereum blockchain. Never mind that some of the pictures aiming to immortalize some of the images depicted Floyd as inmate, a burglar, Mayo Zidong wearing a shirt saying autism with a drooping eyes and drool running down the side of his mouth and much more. There's not much point in trying to scry a, uh, what is, what is scry? What is, that? is that even a word? To scry a deeper meaning here. NFTs, which are currently largely without much use except for theft and attempting to look cool by dropping a nice house worth of dough on a JPEG, sit in the middle of a disastrous ecosystem that incentives this very sort of behavior. The MetaHuman's Twitter account did not respond to Motherboard's request for comment. Well, there you have it, man. There you have it. There you have it. They're trying to cover up their racism. And sad to say, um, don't be surprised if you have chat rooms on Facebook, you know? And they have this, you know, since, you know, Mark Wahlberg's uh, metaverse, don't be surprised if they have, you know, their chat rooms or their groups where they could do this type of racism. And you will go in there and you will see, see people trying to reenact um, slavery of blacks. Sad, sick world we live in. Sad, sick world. All right. Tell me what you think in the comments. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Helps the algorithm. Later.